Now that you have a weapon to deal with Heimdall, we just need to find a way to get to him. Aye, if that's still the plan. It is. I will protect my son. So, then it seems the original plan to avoid Ragnarok has fallen a bit by the wayside. That is up to Odin. Yes, that's rather what concerns me. Now listen, Emma. Those things he said to you... His words are nothing. You? Though I expect retaliation is no empty threat. We need to think through the ins and outs of it. You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's see if Sindri has had any luck. <laughs> Bunch. So were you always a freakishly large immortal squirrel, or...? <laughs> Don't forget handsome. No, I was once a regular squirrel. The same size as these wispy, spectral versions of myself, in fact. I was unremarkable. I stumbled upon the tree near what should have been the end of my life, the victim of a random act of predatory savagery. But the tree, it had other plans for an insignificant creature like me. But I have prattled on for far too long. I will leave you be, Master Kratos. Should I have anything else for you, you'll be the first to know. Now do the thing! Oh, look at that. She's special, that one. Ain't gotta tell me. Have you found a way to reach Asgard? Um, not as such. Had a few ideas, but they didn't so much... work. <sighs> Brother, without a way to Asgard, what are we doing? I do not know. I need to think. I am hurt. So, you're sure nothing unusual happened with the lady? Nothing at all? Nothing whatever. Smooth as snail shit, like I said. Why? 
There's some reason you expected it to flip sideways? What? No, no, of course not. I'm delighted to hear everything proceeded as planned. Well, they did. And it was a proper adventure to boot. I taught them all about the nature of the thing and the form of the thing. Become a whole motif. You're making up words again. I said it was a motif, and it was beautiful. You are impossible. <laughs> I'm the most possible one around here. Where are you going, brother? Sleep. So we're just keeping blindly on then, hoping we don't walk headlong into Ragnarok. Is that your plan? Well, your father seems very ready to go. Shall we then? This way, Grumbles. Do you enjoy the gentle waves, little one? Your father and I traverse this river often. One day, you will learn. 
to navigate its waters. We live deep in the wild woods. The most beautiful forest in all of Midgard. And it is safe and serene here. Game is plentiful, and you will want for nothing. We're not far from the place your father and I first met. We nearly took each other's heads off. But he's softened since then. Somewhat. Unfortunately for you, he remains dreadfully stoic. I suppose it will fall to me to teach you language. Your father can teach you to hunt. Or perhaps that will fall to me as well, since all he seems to be good for is grunting. Have you nothing to say to your son? Do you have me say, Faye? Anything. Let him learn your voice. Let him know you. He is far better off knowing as little as possible. Knowledge is not always a burden. <laughs> Think. The mighty god of war. Frightened of his own child. I do not fear our child, Faye. I fear for him. He is innocent. We are not our failures. We are not who we were. We must be better. Atreus is our future. Keep him safe, Kratos. Protect our son. Ugh! <gasps>